guys. So we've been having an issue with the uh, comfort of the sleeping arrangement in our cabin. At least my husband has. So um, we decided to do something pretty cool. And it's a much cheaper option than having a, um, a mattress that is custom made for your boat. We just can't afford that right now. So stay tuned to see what kind of cool stuff we came up with. You're watching Two Bears Outdoors. <laughs> so I'm so excited our mattress came today um, it is a queen size memory foam mattress that we got to use in the cuddy cabin to make it a little more comfortable because I know Gus has been having some comfort issues on his side there's just not enough padding to be really comfortable for sleeping all night long so I found this memory foam mattress on Amazon and um, it's infused with like charcoal and stuff, so that'll help with the mold and mildew and stuff. We hope, I hope it t maybe helps keep it out of it some. Um, it came today. I'm really excited to show you because we have to take it out of the box and let it rise, so to speak. It's one of those bed in a box thing. So it's all rolled up and squished. So you're supposed to take it out, let it like kind of, you know, come out of itself, rise up overnight um so we're hoping that it'll be risen up enough by this evening so we can do the cutting that we need to do um it is a queen size which i did the measurements on our cabin and that was the size the, the minimum size that we could use for the width and um we i had to do the measurements and get the angles and all that because we're gonna have to kind of cut it down um, to make it fit right and plus our cuddy, cuddy cabin is a v-birth so it's kind of really odd shapes this is kind of like having to go back to school <laughs> and go through algebra and all that other stuff because it, it's a lot of figuring um the other day you know when i was trying to get the angles right this is not fun so we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so we got that zippered cover off. Now, I don't know if you can tell, there's another cover over it that's gonna have to come off. But this one we're gonna have to cut off because um, we need to get to the foam to be able to cut it properly. So next up is cutting this thing off. Three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 60. Okay, so what did I? So basically, 33, 33, 27. Okay, that is 60. Get off! <laughs> Get off! <laughs> Dude! He's trying it out. Huh? He's trying out the mattress. Uh, yeah, come on. Move your culo. Move. Move. Dude. Move. <laughs> He's still telling. I like it. Bear, I'm going to have to have you move, dude. I'm getting ready to start doing stuff, and I can't have you moving my cushions. I'm nervous. <laughs> I 
Okay, so after much deliberation and changing my marks and everything, I just want to make sure I get this right before I start cutting. Because if I cut it too small, I've messed it up. Okay, so I finally got the marks right, I think. Um, I used the plastic that the mattress came in to kind of make me a template again because I don't have the cushions with me. We took those back to the boat. This has been a long process. Um, so I finally got it, I think, the where, I, where I need it. So now we're going to, I just marked it, and we're going to start cutting. But again, I have to be careful. The bottom part's not going to be hard that's closest to like the cabin door where you go in because um, that's pretty straightforward but the angles up towards the front and then getting the angles that are going to hit the the sides the hull that's where i've got to get those angles right so that's where i'm going to be a little bit nervous about cutting on it but here goes nothing so what we're going to use to cut the mattress is an electric carving knife um Gus's mom has one, but I have no clue where it's at. So I went and just bought another one. Um, you can get them. This one was like 25 bucks because it was the only one that they had at the time. I got it at Target. But I think you can get them for maybe like 15 even cheaper. Um, I didn't need it for anything else. But we have to have it for this. Because they say this is about the easiest way for you to be able to cut this foam um, quickly and more precisely. Okay, so here's the angle that we have to cut. This is going to be the bottom of it, and this is the top. So it gets wider as it goes to the top. So I'm going to be cutting on this angle. First, I'm going to cut this off to make it easier, and then I've got to cut this angle off all the way down. Now the hard part. <laughs> to get this angle... You didn't want to get all the crap. So today is the day. It's time to take the mattress to the boat. Gus is working, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. So let me show you what I had to do. So there it is, all rolled up, it's cut. And then you can see I've got the extra pieces that I'm gonna take and see if I can get it to fit just perfectly. If It's gonna be a little short in places. So, whew, here goes nothing, let's go. So here we go. As you can see, <laughs> car full of mattress. Well, we are here at the boat. Well, I am here at the boat. As you can see, there she is, beautiful. So I'm getting ready to try to get this mattress out of the car. <laughs> here goes nothing. Over here. So you can see this little corner here. 